Thanks for staying with us. I'm joined now by Sean Porter, Las Vegas boxer, established welterweight, former world champion, and your father, Kenny Porter, your manager slash trainer. Thank you so much for both coming in. Thanks for having us. June 20th, you are going to be fighting Adrian Broner at the MGM Grand, also on Premier Boxing Champions right here on Channel 3. When I think of Adrian Broner, I don't think of his boxing abilities. Uh, first thing I think about, no, I'm not saying that as an insult. The first thing that comes to my mind, though, is how loud and obnoxious he can be. And I'm wondering, in your 27 professional fights, have you ever faced someone who is that audacious? No one that audacious, but it's pretty cool that, you know, I think that mostly when people think of me, they do think of my boxing skill or the fact that I am a humble, you know, soft-spoken individual. Have you prepared for that at all? I mean, envisioned, you know, maybe at the press conference he's going to try to pull something because he did that in his last fight with Molina. I haven't because um, this team right here, we're, we are a no-nonsense type of team, you know, so he'll probably react first and I'll be right behind him. <laughs> He can say whatever he wants because it will go in one area and not the other. Let's talk about Broner's skills. What does he bring to this fight that could pose problems? He's very fast. Uh, he, he likes to use his jab. He's a very skillful fighter. He's from Cincinnati. That's, that's what they have up there. They have a lot of skill and finesse and talent. I'm from Cleveland, so we got the same thing. Uh, I think we're a little bit tougher, a little bit, a little bit more heart and um, a little bit more grit. Mm -hmm. There are some big implications for mm -hmm. whoever wins. He has that defensive style like Mayweather, so let's say you win, you put up a great performance. Yeah. Do you foresee yourself facing Mayweather? Of course, that has gone through my mind a hundred times. Uh, you know, obviously not looking past this fight, but understanding that this guy has a style similar to Floyd Mayweather, arguably one of the greatest fighters of all time, and he has one fight left, and if I put on a great show against this guy, everyone in the world is going to say, look at what he did against this style. He's the one who can do it. And Dad, with a win here, where would that put Sean in this big spectrum of welterweights that are out there? Well, I would say he's back in line for the welterweight championship. This could have been a world, world, world welterweight championship fight, but Adrian would not step up to the plate and make it a 147 world championship fight. You're going to be fighting at a catch weight of 144. Rehydration is another aspect of this fight. There's a contract and in it there's a clause that says you can only gain so much weight between weigh-in and the next day. How much weight is that? Uh, right now the, the, the weight limit is 10 pounds uh, and that's easy for us because we've done that in, in my past four or five fights. Talk more about rehydration. It seems to be somewhat of an alarming issue to at least the athletic commission here. Some fighters gaining 15 pounds within one day, sometimes 20 pounds. It seems to be an unfair advantage, possibly. Is there any health risk, do you think? Definitely there's a health risk. There's also an unfair advantage, but it's a health risk because he's taking the weight off the wrong way in such a short period of time, and his opponent could possibly hurt him. And then putting that much weight back on your body before your body is ready for it, that causes you trouble as well. So, you know, it, it does need to be, uh, some regulations need to be set forth. Last thing, any message to your fans? No, uh, God bless all you guys out there. Continue to follow me and support me. I love you like you love me. We'll Thank you for having you. us. Oh, yeah. We'll see you June 20th. Kenny and Sean Porter. Are you coming? I will be there. Of okay. course I will. <laughs> so. Thank you so much for Thanks coming. Thanks for in. having us. Thank you. Randy, back